terrific college hoop game on New Year's Day. Number two, Kansas hosting ninth-ranked Georgia Tech. Wayne Simeon out at least a month with a broken thumb. First half, Jared Jack for three. Martin. 26 for Jack. Yellow Jackets up 16, but B.J. Elder would have to leave with a strained hammy, and Kansas comes back in the second half. Here's J.R. Giddens for three, and the Jayhawks are within three. Giddens had 16 points. Kansas gets a little sloppy here, and Georgia Tech will finish. Here comes Will Bynum. Oh, yeah, Tech's lead is four. That's a top play nominee, all right, but Bynum had only seven points, two of ten shooting in the game. Kansas down three final minutes. Keith Langford ties it up. He had 18, 61 apiece. 30 seconds left now. Bynum going baseline. They wave it off. Charging on Bynum, no basket. Another look. Well... Might have countered, but instead it's waved off remains tied. Final seconds, Langford for the win. They go to overtime in OT. Langford, the steal up to Giddens, and the Jayhawks here have their first lead of the game. Remember, they were down 16 at one point. One minute left in OT now. Bynum, Anthony Morrow, Georgia Tech back out front now. They lead by one. Tied at 68 final seconds, and here's Langford. 16 of his 18 coming after halftime. Jayhawks up two, trying to avenge a loss to Tech in a regional final in last year's NCAA tournament. Three seconds left. Jack, travel on the inbound. You can see he got a bad pass. Jayhawks survive. They get to 9-0 for the first time since the 96-97 season. In college ball at the conference play begin. Wake Forest and the Wahoos in ACC. Virginia, Olford's last nine in ACC openers. First half, J.R. Reynolds. That is impressive. He had 17. Let's take a look again because this is way off the top of the window. Up, up, and I mean, you're running out of glass up there, son. Down it goes. As I said he had 17. Tight early. Cavaliers and Charlottesville keep it to 42-37 intermission. But then Chris Paul taking over. The steal ahead to Justin Gray. Paul, 21 points and 9 assists, wakes up 20. Let's see Gray again. He had 17 points in this one. Oh, yeah, you like the mid-range jumper. Wake Forest, 89-70, so uh, UVA starts again. Down to the hole, 0-1 in conference play. For ACC ball, Clemson at number 6, Duke. Duke Blue Devils, first game since December 18th, and it would show first half up 9-8. Daniel Ewing stripped naked. Lee Melchioni, see what? What had happened, I kind of dribbled off my own foot. Sheldon Williams, he gets the rock taken from him. Duke had 21 turnovers. Sheldon had five, but it's Duke. It's Melchioni, lefty three. Melchioni, two of four from three-pointers. Duke's up nine. And then up eight later, J.J. Redick, who can shoot lights out from outside, goes inside for two of his 24. Duke wins it. Coach K, big up, 62-54. Playing Texas A&M Corpus Crispy on the same floor the Cowboys played on in San Antonio during last year's Final Four. As we flash back, last year's national semi against Georgia Tech, Will Bynum hits the go-ahead shot with 1.5 seconds to play in Oklahoma State, losing by two. Let's get back to Monday. Cowboys trouble early first half. Thomas Bailey gets the offensive board and the putback is good. Cowboys down three. Bailey, 21 points, 9 of 13 from the field. Is it the unlucky court or what? Late in the first half, now Cowboys up one. John Lucas wide open. 31-28 at the break. Cowboys, Lucas, 21 points. Joey Graham, huge putback slam. Cowboys win by 25. Graham with 20 points. Billy Gillespie's got him 11-0. They are full of fight. AC Law drops a three on him. 14 points. Texas A&M up three. They're 11 and 0. Unbelievable. Now tied at 52. Aaron Miles. He can be used as a flotation device in emergencies. Kansas is up two. Less than two to go. A&M down three. Dominique Kirk. He was just one of four from deep, but he hit the clutch when we're knotted up at 56. A minute to go. A&M down two. Antoine Wright gets it to fall. We are tied at 58. Back to Kansas, Alex Galindo. Now that's some onions right there. Strings at the beakers are going bonkers. They're up 61-58. Christian Moody missed a couple of free throws, though. Still a three-point game. AC Law comes on down the floor. Going to hit a very tough shot. Get the two. Foul. Hope it goes your way. A&M within one. They do foul. This time, Moody made a pair of freebies. Law then to tie. It ain't going to happen. Kansas wins at 65-60. Hangs on. Now it's off to Kentucky next. Jay Billis, though. What about the Aggies strong showing? Rank UConn Huskies open a Big East play at Boston College. Al Skinner's team 11-0 start matches the best start in school history. Said Calhoun, though, 
When they were good, we were better. And when they were real good, we were great. Jim Calhoun, 30 and 5 against BC as UConn Husky coach. UConn up one first half. Charlie Villanueva is going to teach the freshman Sean Williams some things right there. Eight points, nine boards. Check it out again. Villanueva schooling the freshman Williams. Top play nominee, of course, Lewis Hidden. Hidden on the break, finishing, and he's fouled by Ed Nelson. BC up two. They were five off the Steve Haley air ball. The 250-pounder Craig Smith with a finish. Smith, 16 points in 16 minutes, under 30 seconds to go. Eagles up two. Marcus Williams, 15 turnovers for UConn. Boston College stunning the ninth-ranked Huskies by five. Georgetown, Pittsburgh. Panthers less frightening after their home loss to Bucknell, but they've never lost back-to-back -back games at the Peterson Event Center. Time winding down second half, 64 all. Brandon Bowman, tough layup inside. I mean, we're talking top 10 nominee quality. Georgetown up two after a timeout. Siobhan Troutman. Now, it's good to pass to teammates. You should really pass to the ones that don't have the warm-ups on, the ones that are on the floor. That's a turnover. Pitt fouls. Ashante Cook makes the first, misses the second. So Pitt, a chance. Down three. Antonio Graves blocked from half court. The Hoyas win on the road. 67-64. Big win for the folks from D.C. Big night. The Big East. Back to college hoops. Big Ten play opening up at Assembly Hall in Champaign. You know, out of the 560 minutes Illinois has played so far, they have trailed only 20.5 minutes. This means Illinois has led or tied 96% of the time. And yes, I did the math. Stunning. Ivan Harris, 5 of 8 from the field, 14 points. Illinois down 1 to Ohio State. D. Brown to James Augustine. Augustine, 8 of 10 from the field. Second half. With Illinois up six, Darren Williams. Eight assists for him. There's one to Augustine. 21 points, 10 boards. Later second half, Luther Head. To D. Brown. 13 points for D. Illinois rolls over the Buckeyes. Virginia Villanova. Cats do not care much for the Mighty Mouse. Oh, throwback 1979 night. Not sure what was significant about 79, really, but Jason Frazier dunks like it's 1979. Off the steal, Randy Foy, the lay-in like it is 1979. They look like they're using 1924 graphics. Villanova up 10, then Mike Nardi passes to Curtis Sumter. The lay-in like it is 1970. Oh, I'm telling you, Nova Flat opened a can on the hoopies. 84-46, ranked West Virginia goes down big. Number seven, Syracuse. Not 1979 there. No, Syracuse up one, first half, zone defense. Look at it. St. John's passing inside, swarmed by orange jerseys. Darrell Hook tries to drive. He has to kick it out. Ryan Williams tries to start something. He has to kick it out. I mean, shot clock is going to be down to four seconds. Hill has to shoot the three. No way. Syracuse allows St. John's to score just one field goal in the last nine minutes of the first half. Meanwhile, when you're talking Syracuse, you're talking this man. The long, lengthy, six foot nine, Akeem Warwick. 22 points, six boards. He cannot be stopped. Good defense again, Josh Pace. He had two blocks. Pace also had 12 points. Terrence Roberts getting in on that block party. Syracuse blocked eight shots. Jerry McNamara, 19 points, five assists. The Orange beat St. John's on Luke Karnasek's 80th birthday. Oh, by the way. It's in Duke. Duke, he's wearing retro jerseys, honoring the opening of Cameron Indoor Stadium 65 years ago. Will Venable apparently doesn't care. 21 points, 5 steals, 5 rebounds, but his team was down. Demarcus Nelson for 3, and Duke is up 10. Notice the retro jerseys. They still spell Duke like they did in 1940. D-U-K-E. Venable, the outlet pass, and now he's got four Dukies around him. You can tell. They're wearing them jerseys, and he just throws it away. Later in the second, Duke up 13. J.J. Reddick, one man to beat. There he is. Scott Greenman. Whoops. Not hard to beat when the guy falls down. Duke wins by 13, 59-46. Princeton, however, takes the SAT scores by 172. Wow, they're smart. South Carolina visiting eighth-ranked Kentucky. There's Tubby, 6-1 in SEC openers at Kentucky. Seconds left first half, Carlos Powell. Powell, oh, what a good look. 15 points. South Carolina up six at the break. Second half. Here comes Kentucky off the inbounds. Rajon Rondo cutting through on touch for the duck. Kentucky down one, second half. Patrick Sparks off the break, finding Rondo. Kentucky goes ahead by one. Rondo, 11 points, five boards. Later, it's Kalena Azubuki. Kentucky would go on to win. Azubuki, 21 points. 
Louisville, Houston, welcome to Conference USA Planet Red. Trouble on the road. Second half, less than a minute to go. Houston down two. Rick Pitino doesn't want to see that. Andre Owens fires for three at 27. Houston's up one. Ensuing possession, Francisco Garcia drives the lane and is called for a charge. Hand behind the head. Player control goodness after two Houston free throws. Lorenzo Wade for the tie, no. Tommy Pender's crew, big win at home, 70-67 over the Marines tore it up early at Carver Hawkeye Arena, but the 14-point lead evaporates down to one after Jeff Warner bangs the three inside of 40 seconds. Eight to go, Daniel Horton misses the second free throw. Actually missed them both. Michigan only up the three-point. Pierre Pierce dribbles down. And he is fouled from behind the line. So he's got a chance to tie it. He makes all three free throws. Where is Warren Holloway when you need him? Hawkeyes fall at home. Just their second loss of the season. But lose the Big Ten opener. 65-63. Another top 25 team struggling. 18th ranked Alabama on the road at Vanderbilt. Alex Gordon. That's half his point total right there. He had six points. Vandy up five. Mario Moore. It's three three-pointers in a minute and 10 second span. And Vanderbilt goes on to stun 18th ranked Alabama, the sixth top 25 team to fall Wednesday night. Thursday, no surprises were expected, but there still was a buzz in the air. The reason? The debut of spectacular high-definition television on ESPN2. No better way to break that in than with a triple header of college hoops. We begin with 11th ranked Texas hosting the Memphis Tigers. First half, Memphis down four, freshman Darius Washington. Washington sharing to Rodney Cardney. Cardney with 18 points. Hey, Dick Vitale, what are your thoughts on the freshman? Darius Washington has really stepped up and has performed. This diaper dandy has taken the ball to the basket with authority. He's made the extra pass. He's gotten the ball to key people at the right time. A brilliant performance in the first half. Williams jump up. Thanks, Dick. Second half, Texas up seven. Look out for Texas's Jason Klotz. What's he doing punching Simply's Enjoya in the gut? Now, Enjoya was okay. Take another look. The officials missed this one. Klotz punches and Joy right in the stomach. Tums won't help that. No foul call. Second half, tie game, Daniel Gibson. Daniel Gibson's going to get a great look. Three is seven from three-point range. He gets 17 points. Under a minute to go, Texas up two. Uh-oh, trouble with the kicks. Washington falls down. P.J. Tucker over Carney. Tucker with 18 points. And Texas with a 74-67 win. Another game on ESPN2 HD. There's Ronnie Turiaf, 17 ranked Gonzaga, facing Santa Clara. Clara down six. Watch Gonzaga's Adam Morrison and Santa Clara's Brody Angley. Angley bouncing the ball off the back of Morrison and gets the layup. Santa Clara down two. And then Kyle Bailey, who scored 26. Nice move. Check it out again. Through his own legs backwards. Bailey will find a roadie for three. Santa Clara down just one at the break. Later in the half, what a game. A career-high 32 points for Derek Rivio. Six threes. And the Zags send the Broncos to their fifth straight loss. Back to hoops, college ball, Pac-10. Arizona, Cal. Cats haven't played away from home in about 19 days. They seem to know how to work a basket. Hassan Adams. Alley oop, Richard Midgley at 14 for the home team. Second half, Arizona on an 18-4 run. Channing Fry, 20 points, 8 rebounds to lead the Cats. Later in the second half, leads a dozen. It's now 15. Adams to 3. Arizona wins 87 to 67. Washington ready to be a major player in the chase for the league title out west. Huskies against USC. Nate Robinson to steal, head to Mike Jensen for the slam. 4-0 Washington. The shutout would not hold. Second half, Huskies up 16. Brandon Roy this time from the Robinson assist. He had seven helpers, eight points. Talking about Robinson, 63-45. And then a bit later, Jensen to the cutting. Trey Simmons, who had 22. The Huskies roll by 25, 84-59. They have nine straight wins. They're 13-1. Miami, Georgia Tech, Hurricanes, welcome to ACC basketball. Never an easy night in this league. Find out here. Jared Jack block. Guillermo Diaz, well, that's good. Loose ball. And, well, the difference between garbage oh. and gorgeous is if it goes in. Yeah, one more time, Diaz. Just a little turn around and flip. He's from the U, you know. Diaz had 27 points. Later in the second half, though, Georgia Tech 
Up four add to it. Will Bynum, little up, whoop, missed me. He had 21 points, 55-49 in favor of the wreck, and then Jack all alone in the corner. Buries at 14 points, so Miami loses that first ACC game, 80-69. Next time, though, could I see some Ish Muhammad? I love Ish. Who doesn't? Seen in HD on ESPN2, number 20, Cincinnati. There's Bob Huggins visiting DePaul. Oscar Robertson, the Cincy alum in the house. Early in the first half, Jihad Muhammad. Three of his 16, Bearcats up nine late in the first half. Bearcats are rolling in transition. Chad Moore, the dish to Eric Hicks. 8.7 boards for Hicks. Early second half, Cincinnati by 21. Jason Maxiel, turnaround J, plus the foul. Maxiel, seven of 10 from the field. Moore, Maxiel on the other end. Rear rejected by Maxiel. Oh, he hit star 69 and said back at you. Nice block by Jason. Finished with 19 points. DePaul didn't have many highlights, but here's one of them. Chumon Greer on Max Seal. 12 points for Greer. He came in averaging 24 points. Coach, not feeling it. Cincinnati winning it big time. DePaul shot just 30% shot just 30 from the field.